Hi, today we're doing um, some uh, advanced aerial techniques and some things that possibly could be going wrong at the moment. Most common mistakes would probably be when you try and chuck an aerial and you don't get hold of it and it would go to a defender. This quite often happens when the ball leaves your stick early and you don't quite get under it, hence it just goes to the centre forward probably and they go and counter attack and score. The best way to, to actually combat this would probably be to actually commit to the, to, the, to the technique. So instead of just rushing it and trying to chuck it straight away, actually commit to chucking the aerial. So this would mean, as we said before, trying to get low and properly get under the ball. Like so. Another common mistake can be hooking. To be honest, this is something I really struggle with, so I don't really know what the, the best way to, to stop this is, I, I just think practice. So learn what you, learn what happens um, when you hook the ball and then try and try and just practice it. So I find, I, try, I always hook the ball when I try too hard and get the ball too far up my stick. It's gonna be quite difficult to try and actually hook the ball, but if I... That was all right because the ball actually slid off the stick quite well, but you quite often hook the ball when the ball goes too far up the stick and then the hook gets in the way and then you end up getting it and it goes off the air, off, not only off the side of the pitch but over the fence as well, it's happened quite a lot. I've always found that a lower bow probably helps to get under the ball. Um, so you're more likely to probably hook the ball with a lower bow. Uh, with a flatter, straighter stick, like this one, you're probably more likely to not get under it enough and do the first, uh, the first one, which you won't get under it. Um, so you've just got to practice with your stick. It's quite hard to go from one to the other. I'll try and do it, but... See there, I didn't get under it quite enough because I'm used to my low bow. Advanced things to look at. Well, I would probably say is your type of aerial. So when you get really good at them, you can start thinking about, well, is it a pass? or is it more of a chuck into space? So quite a lot of teams are playing zones now, so you will end up having to pass to an empty person in a, in a free space. And this quite, can be quite flat and more of just a push pass in the air. Um, and then the other option is when, say there's a counter attack and then there's, you're not exactly passing it to someone, it's more into space and you want the ball to stop. And that would mean you've got to um, chuck the ball higher so I'm going to try it this, but to, if I was passing to Matt over there and he's standing in some space, I'd try and hit it. <laughs> I'd try and uh, get it quite flat. That's reasonably fat. So that the ball gets to him quicker. Um, whereas if it was a, a counter attack and I was just chucking it into some space for someone to run onto, you can quite often get a bit lower try and get under the ball a little bit more and try and get the ball up more and it's more of a, an aerial technique. So you just try and get under the ball, get it up in the air so that it will then stop. Like. like so. So I would say something to practice when, when you start getting really good at them is sort of almost doing, doing it on the move. You never want to do it when the ball's stationary. So when you either drift, it's easier to do it when you're drifting to the left and to get your feet round and then chuck the aerial. But also something really good to practice is going the other way. So if you're, the ball's going to your right and then, and then trying to chuck an aerial like that, the common mistake with that is the ball would roll off the end of the stick before you completed the movement. So as the ball's rolling this way, it just moves off the end of the stick and you won't do it successfully. So it's something really to, to practice. If you start getting really good at them, just never do one stationary because it becomes too easy and you're not challenging yourself. So a good one to do is just a little touch this way. <laughs> that was not very good, but yeah, just keep practicing it on the move. And then the other way, which is a lot harder. Yeah. 
Like so. Good trap, Matt. <laughs> 